Hello viewers, in this class we are going to uh, learn about classless address. Okay, so as you can see that uh, uh, the topic is classless addressing. In the previous class we had studied about classful addressing. We have class A, B, C, D, E, right? So here we have a restriction of uh, based on number of networks uh, bits and number of host bits. That is, for example, class A has eight bits of network, whereas twenty-four bits of host, right? We had a restriction, and we have also seen the disadvantages of class A, class B, and class C. right so to overcome this problems we go for classless addressing here we will not divide them based on 8 bits or 8 bit network id or 16 bit network id in class b or 24 bit network id in class c so we are not going to divide them in like that instead of the what we are going to do we are we will be taking a random ip address based on its cidr number we find out we decide the number of bits uh, for network id and host id so there is no strict rules that bounded rules that there should be 8 bits or 16 bit or 24 bit network address so like uh, we had extend extension of uh, network ids in uh, by using subnet and superneting in the same way uh, here we don't have any restrictions on the Uh, network id network bits and host bits so any number can be network bits any number can be host bits it is free to assign number of uh, network bits and host bits so this is a one of the uh, thumb rule so to decide the uh, this classless ip addressing uh, to assign any classless ip addressing we have to follow some of the rules like here the first rule says that the address in the block must be contiguous contiguous means it should be continuous one so for example if we start from 41 so next ip should be obviously 42 next it should be 43 44 like that it should be a continuous one okay second one the number of address in the block must be power of 2 that means the total number of blocks it should be multiples of so it cannot be an odd number again it should be an even number like it can be a 2 or it can be 4 or it can be 8 16 right it should be an even number that should all be also uh, the power of 2 right and uh, even the number of addresses must be evenly divided by number of addresses that means if i take uh, the total number uh, uh, that is the first address if i take any one address uh, it must be divided by total number of addresses for example if i take any one of the ip address here if i take uh, the first address as 205.16.37.32 so in this one if we have 16 addresses that is 205.16.37.32 this when i convert this into completely a decimal equivalent number and divide it by 16 it must give me an even number that is divisible it should be divisible so that is one more rule these are the rules for assigning an classless ip address thank you okay now let us solve a simple problem that is uh, uh, how we can assign and classless ip address so here so i will be making a separate videos for each of the problems so in this video i will be solving first and second problem okay let us see the first problem so so what does this problem says so figure below shows a block of addresses in both binary and dotted decimal notation granted to a small business that needs 16 addresses okay you can see here we have just take seeing one example so the total number of addresses are 16 okay 
The starting address is 205.16.32.37.32. Right? Here you can see that the rules for the classless IP addressing that is the number of addresses must be the power of 2. Here 16 is 2 to the power of 14 will give us 16. So one rule is satisfied. So another rule is all the IP address should be contiguous. Okay. So how does here they are contiguous? You can see it is starting with 32. Next IP is 33. Next we'll have 34. So if I go on counting, so for 47, I will be getting total 16 counts. If I add 32 with 16, uh, I will be getting 48 because I take count of this 32 also minus 1 will give me 47. So 32 to 37 is a count of 16 addresses. Okay. And uh, the respective dotted decimal number and the binary representation are shown in this logs. Okay, and this is the last number, last IP address. And one more thumb rule is when I take the decimal number, okay, that is the first IP address, the first IP address is this one, when I take this number, and I completely, uh, when I take this complete binary number and not for individual by bit, byte by byte, I take this whole number and convert it into decimal number. Then this binary completely 32 bit, when it is converted to decimal number, I will get this number, right? When I divide this number by total number of addresses, that is 16, when I divide this number by 16, the result will be this one. This is completely divisible. And there is a one more rule which is sort applied. Okay. Now let us see one more problem number two. The problem number two is a block of address is granted to a small organization. Okay. We know that the one of the address is 205.16.37.39 bar 28. Okay. What is the first address? And what is the last address in the block? Also find number of addresses in the block. So this is one of the important problem. So simplified, we have one small organization. Okay. We know one of the IP address in that organization. The IP address which is known is this one. 205.16.37.39. Okay. So when we go for a classless IP address, we must specify this CIDI number that is slash 28. So this indicates that there are 28 bits used for network address whereas 32 minus 28 that will give you 4. So only 4 bits are used for host addressing. So as we did in the last previous case. Okay, so what we need to find out from this, we need to find out the first IP address and the last IP address and also number of IP addresses in this block. So here you can clearly see that the block indicates the, the network. So instead of uh, this network, we call it as how many IP addresses are there in this network or block. Both are parallel used. Now let us write down this 205, 16, 37, 39 into respective binary values. When I write this number into binary, that is 205, when it is written binary, this is the number. 16 is this number. 37 is this number. 39 is this number. What I did, I have taken this decimal equivalent to its binary equivalent. So next what we need to do, just we need to find out the mask first. So uh, previously I have already explained how to do the masking. The simplest method is when I multiply this IP address with the mask. So now mask as by default contains now 28 bits of 1s, 4 bits of zeros. Simply when I multiply this IP with the mask, what I will get? I will be getting the first 28 numbers as it is remaining bits as zeros. So what we need to do simply I replace the last 4 bits 1, 2, 3, 4 bits with zeros. Okay. 
So in this IP address, when I replace last bits with zero, last four bits with zero, then I'll be getting this first IP address. Okay, this is how we calculate the first IP address. So if I get this n, so here n is 28. So 32 minus n, 32 minus 28 will give me four. Okay, so last four bits are replaced by zeros now. When I replace four bits with zero, then this binary equivalent value I convert it into decimal. So 205 remains as it is, 16 remains as it is, 37 remains as it is. Only last number instead of it is changed to 32. Previously it was uh, 39, so now it is changed to 32. So this is my first IP address. Then how to get the last IP address? Only thing is replace the last four bits uh, that is host bits with a one. So what we are doing here, the, in the same IP address, the four bits I am replacing them by ones. So when I replace by one, so the these three values remain same as it is. Last one it will change. For this binary equivalent value, okay, when I convert this into decimal, I will get 47. So therefore, uh, it is very easy to find out the first IP address, replace the number of host bits with zeros and convert binary to decimal equivalent. Similarly, to find out the last IP address, replace the number of host bits by ones in the IP address, then convert it into decimal equivalent, you will get the last IP address. Okay, then how to get the number of uh, addresses that is as we have number network address uses 28 host uses 4 that is 2 to the power of 4 that is nothing but again 32 minus 28 equal to 4 2 to the power of 4 will give you 16 so it is a very simple problem here the problem number 3 i would like to continue because it is the same problem but the method of solving this is a bit different. Here in the previously problem number two, I had explained it, it with a shortcut, very easy shortcut. Here in step by step, uh, they are explaining, that's it. So initially this procedure again remains same, same IP address. We need to find out the first uh, IP address in this uh, network, last IP address in this network and the number of uh, addresses. So what the first step is, take this IP address, write its binary equivalent. The same uh, binary equivalent is uh, written here. Then the number of uh, next multiply this IP address with the mask. So here mask contains 28 bits of ones followed by four bits of zeros. So here you can see that eight, 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 total 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So remaining four bits will be zeros. When I do the AND operation with this one, I will be getting an IP address here this four zeros uh, this now when I multiply one with this one I will be getting as it is when I multiply zeros with this one I will get zero here so this will give me the first IP address right same thing to find out the last IP address what we are doing we are the mask we are taking mask component that means uh, we are doing the component of this mask the number of ones are changed to zero, number of zeros are changed to one, that is a reverse order. So now it is 28 zeros and four ones. So again now when here instead of doing AND operation, we have to go for an OR operation, that is addition. So when I go on adding with this one, again I will be getting the same number as it is still 28 bits. So last one instead of zeros or whatever will be there, I will be getting all ones. Now I'll be. This is the last IP address. This is as good as uh, replacing the number of host bits by zeros in to find out the first IP address. Replacing number of host bits by ones to find out the last IP address. Procedure remains same. Thank you very much. We'll go for next problem in the next video.